So we're going to be doing Batter Up 1, we're going to be doing number 2, number 3, and we're also going to be doing the Starter Showdown all in this video. Now, if you want your logo inside Conquest, as you see that line right there, what you need to do is go to your home screen, go to Customize, and then go to Logo Editor, and paste whatever your logo is on the team main logo. After that, you probably have to restart the Conquest map multiple times, restart the game multiple times, and then finally it should appear. If it still doesn't, then I would just go ahead and paste the logo on each and every single category available and then I would repeat the process of restarting the game and restarting the conquest map multiple times because that's what I had to personally do in order for it to appear now I will be doing my best to explain conquest as we go on if you're a new player so batter up one it's pretty simple there is no stronghold we will get a stronghold in number two but the first phase is attack attack is basically you take your territory and you either go to open territories or contested territories once you find a contested territory you will have either one of two options you either a simulate the game or b you play for that territory in which you need to win in order to conquest that territory if you lose you just lose 1 million fans and then you have to replay for that territory if you're gonna play it or simulate it if it is a stronghold you do not have the option to simulate you only have the option to go ahead and actually play the game so let's go ahead and run through our first phase of attack then we get something called the reinforce phase the reinforce phase basically means for every 3 million fans that you have as you can see on the bottom right you get yourself 1 million fans to reinforce so we currently have 17 17 divided by 3 it should be giving us 5 million fans and it will actually give us in total 5 million fans in that leading territory we will reinforce whichever territory we're looking to continue expanding our nation with and then after that we get the option to move fans moving fans it's basically whenever you have a territory that has nowhere else to go or you've already captured everything inside that area so these three million fans right here have nowhere else to go neither do these three million fans but there's a twist when it comes to moving fans you can only move fans to one territory at one time reinforce you can reinforce multiple territories moving fans you can only move it to one territory so we're going to take the bottom left move it over to that leading seven and then we're going to go ahead and attack the Atlanta Braves, we're not gonna play the game because it would take forever in order for us to capture, let's say the nation of baseball map. So I would rather you just go ahead and attack. Once doing that, we continue on and capture each and every single open territory available. Now, another thing to keep in mind is you want to take the most strategic paths possible. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this 3 million down because why not? It's gonna make this a lot faster and easier. You want to take the most strategic paths possible because you don't want to end up in a place where you get yourself stuck as you can see we needed to move down the 3 million fans in order to go ahead and complete this map in the minimum amount of turns as we completed it there were no outstanding hitting rewards inside now when it comes to batter up two you finally see a stronghold where you see another team's icon there the seattle mariners you want to also always make sure you look at the goals because inside the goals there are sometimes the steel fans steel fans is also a phase inside this game and it usually comes before reinforced whenever you get the steel fans phase what basically occurs is you have an opportunity to take away fans from whichever stronghold it is that you're looking either to acquire next or any stronghold on the map if there are multiple strongholds so whenever there is a goal that says steal x amount of fans you have five different difficulties in which you can steal fans on the higher the difficulty the more fans you steal so if it says steal three million fans i would either have option a of doing three rounds of steal fans face meaning having to play three games against whichever stronghold it is asking me to steal fans from or if it's asking me in general i would have to do it three times on rookie difficulty in order to steal three or i could do it once on all-star difficulty steal all three and then continue on and never have to do that steal fans phase again usually steal fans phase you want to make sure you knock out that goal as soon as possible so for the rest of the conquest map you just skip that phase because it is time consuming so as we can see after the attack phase we need to steal 1 million fans by beating them on rookie what we're going to do with these 13 million fans is we're going to go ahead and expand our territory in the bottom and let's see if there are any hidden rewards as you can see 
I made a mistake here, and this is what I was talking about previously. If I would have been brighter, I would have actually went here and then over here and then over here, and then I would have been able to capture almost each and every single territory, or actually each and every single territory available on this side of the map. But unfortunately, I'm not the brightest apple out of the tree, so we didn't go ahead and do that. So this is the Steel Fans Fate. It's usually yellow. What we're gonna do is, you don't have to go over to the Seattle Mariner Stronghold. You can do it from wherever you want. You're gonna go ahead, select it. As you can see, the higher the difficulty, the more fans you can steal. Since we only gotta steal one, let's go ahead and steal one. I already got the XL sheet to my right, so I already know the missions that I need to do in order to knock it out for that starter program. So we're gonna be working on that at the same time and always put your fifth starting pitcher to start because that makes your opponent use their worst pitcher as well so if you have a lot of high overall pitchers make sure you line it up where the highest overall or the pitcher the lowest overall pitcher is still a pretty decent pitcher so for example if i had a team full of 99s and i had 197 in order for me to have an advantage i would put all four 99s at one two three four and then the fifth 97 i would go ahead and make him my starter each and every single time now once you steal the fans you get the goal completed and the goal completed is more important than anything else because sometimes that's the difference on whether or not you complete the task for another program now whenever you steal fans not only are you stealing them from the other stronghold but those fans will be added to the number of reinforcements you can have so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reinforce by one this area right here just so we can capture this one lower and then we're gonna move everything else to our next leading territory we're gonna move these four million fans over here to this eight million and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attack that bottom half that we missed out on and then we're just gonna make sure that this time around we're taking the best path possible in order to not lock ourselves in so you just got to make sure you do that every single time and you will be straight since we already completed the steel fans goal we don't have to steal fans again so we can now skip this phase go straight into reinforce reinforce our leading territory and then move another four million fans over to the 11 to make it a lot easier for us to go ahead and beat that stronghold as you can see there's a two million blocking us from the stronghold so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate instead of playing for that territory because it would take forever we are now at four million fans we can face the territory or stronghold I should say and face them on Hall of Fame difficulty I'm still using the starter team so that's way too high for me so instead of us being forced to play them we can go ahead skip to the steel fans skip the steel fans reinforce this leading territory over here to the highest we can possibly do and then move Move any remaining fans I have over here and then 19 million against 7 million we get veteran difficulty which is a lot easier so let's go ahead and knock them out but so once you beat that stronghold you are done with batter up 2 if you lose although you're gonna have to repeat it now let's go to the final one which is batter up 3 let's see we have to upon starting the map travel directly to the to the Cubs and capture their stronghold do we have any steel fans no we do not have any steel fans but we do know that there is a hidden reward inside this map and we need to capture the san francisco giants on or before turn three so with 36 million fans it's actually going to be really easy for us to go ahead and face not only the cubs on rookie difficulty but we should be able to face the san francisco giants on rookie difficulty as well since there aren't going to be a lot of territories to go ahead and fight us and bring down our territories like i said it should be pretty easy for us to go ahead and get the giants as well so we're just gonna make a straight beeline towards them and then afterwards that's when we're gonna go ahead and head over to capture in all the open territories and i will show you of course the hidden reward so i'm not gonna lie to you all i lost one conquest game so i had to replay them i lost in the most bs way but it's life you can't really get too mad about it so i'll show you all where the hidden reward is but basically you're done with this conquest map all you gotta do is reinforce whenever you have to and just capture each and every single territory i'm not gonna show you guys the starter showdown in this video because it would make the video a little bit longer than i want it to be so expect the starter showdown to be uploaded soon maybe tomorrow but don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell go ahead check out the links inside the description got discord and twitch have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one and the hidden reward was a standard pack and it was all the way where you see that one fan